All right, guys, so I'm about to head to the theater right now. Well, I am at the theater, I'm about to head in. I'm about to go watch The Secret Life of Pets 2 in Dolby, so um, it, 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 I'm hoping it's okay. I really like the first one, so uh, I hope this is just as enjoyable. So let's go in. Guys, so I just saw Secret Life of Pets, uh, so uh, let's talk about it when I get home. All right, guys. So I saw Secret Life of Pets 2 in Dolby. You know, I'll be talking about the Dolby experience after I'm done talking about the actual movie itself. But anyway, so let's talk about the Secret Life of Pets 2. And I was kind of excited for this movie. Um, I really, 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 really enjoy that first Secret Life of Pets movie. I actually have it on Blu-ray. It's upstairs though. Because uh, I was watching it before I saw this movie, and I really enjoyed that movie a lot for very, you know, a, a lot of obvious reasons. You know, as a pet owner for nearly 10 years, it's a movie that I really wanted to, uh, it, it's the type of movie that I have a lot of fun watching. You know, it's a simple animated movie with simple story and simple characters, but it's very adorable and very fun and enjoyable to watch, and I've really enjoyed that movie a lot. And, um, you know, Secret Life of Pets 2, the trailers, or the marketing alone, didn't really do anything for me. Um, but, uh, you know, the, you know the, the, I had faith in this movie because I do like that first movie so much that I was really convinced that I thought that, you know, I was really convinced I was going to like this movie. And, um, surely enough, I did see it and ask, you know, the story of this movie... It's, I can't describe it because there's not a main storyline in this movie. There's three different storylines in this movie. The main storyline in this movie is with Max and Duke. Um, you know, they go to this farm and they meet this dog named Rooster, who's voiced by Harrison Ford, who I think did a pretty good job voicing that character. It really fits him. And, uh, you know, that, you know, Max is trying to overcome some fears while he's there. And then there's this storyline. Uh, the second storyline is about Gidget. Uh, she is trying to become cat for this specific reason in the movie. And then the final storyline, and probably my favorite storyline in this movie, is with the rabbit Snowball, who uh, he thinks he's a superhero. So he's out here doing all these crazy things as this uh, superhero in this superhero costume, and it really works. And, um, you know, it's three different storylines, so really there's not a main storyline in this movie. And it really feels like, you know, they really combined three short films. Or not short films, well yeah, kind of, it, it felt like they combined three different short films and they combined them all into one movie. And at first it feels weird because it kind of switches from one of the stories to another one of the stories to another story. And you might think that it's going to be messy through the whole movie, but it really isn't. It really kind of is consistent. And all these storylines have the same tone, so it really works. And um, in the end, you know, all this kind of like meshes together. And it kind of, you know, it, it kind of uh, gives you this final payoff in the third act where all these characters and each of their storylines in this movie, they had to overcome a fear. And... It pays off in the third act when, of course, the big uh, animated action scene happens in the movie. And it really, for the most part, really worked. Um, again, some of it, you know, the movie's pretty consistent, but some of it kind of feels not off. But, like, again, it's a little weird and it's going to take a little, you know, a little bit to, uh, to get used to because, again, it's three different storylines in the movie. And um, the voice acting, uh, Patton Oswald. Uh, replaces uh the dude who voiced max in the first movie i can't remember his name he's a comedian though um but he got replaced because of sexual allegations and uh, now they got Patton Aswald who actually really fitted the role of max and um you know kevin hart i really enjoyed him a lot as snowball and the addition of tiffany haddish who voices one of the dogs in this movie i thought she did a pretty 
okay job as well. Um, the, uh, the animation here really stands out. Uh, you know, it's it's really cartoonish animation. Obviously, that's what Illumino Illumination is kind of known for. But for this specific movie, it really works a lot, and you know, it's the style that Illumination has. And uh, I'm trying to think of other things to say about this movie, but I, you know, it, it's just a very harmless animated movie, a very enjoyable one. Um, and one, again, that is really consistent throughout the whole movie. Uh, I had fun watching this movie. Um, it's really cute. It's very adorable. It feels mainly like a cartoon, and there is this villain in this movie who is cartoonish throughout the movie. But overall, what the movie does really well is that it really brings this message together that really is going to work for little kids about, um, again, overcoming your fears, because I think that that's the main thing about this movie that each character and each of their storylines had to overcome a fear and it's 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 a pretty good message and overall it just kind of did pay off in the end with the third act of the movie um overall i really enjoyed secret of pets too it's it's not exactly a great movie but it was a really enjoyable movie um, with that being said, this is a movie that I'd recommend on a matinee or discount day and i'm gonna give the secret of pets two a b I did see this one in Dolby Cinema, and um, my screen, my Dolby screen, uh, actually is a full screen, so this movie covered the whole screen, uh, because this movie has that uh, full screen aspect ratio, so um, it, it covered the whole screen for me, and the movie's Dolby Vision 4K projection pops out in this movie, because this movie is just so colorful, it's vibrant, the colors pop at you, there's a lot of fine detail within these characters, and within the background, so it really works for the 4K projection. So, um, it, you know, f you know, 4K is the way to go for movies like Secret of Pets, just because they're so colorful and the HDR pops out so much. The Dolby Atmos, though, um, this isn't a movie that uses the surround sounds quite a lot. So uh, sometimes it's lackluster, but sometimes it does use the overhead speakers. Uh, during the Captain Snowball scenes or during the third act of the movie, it uses those Dolby Atmos effects. But overall, not a movie that you need to pay extra to see in Dolby, so you'll be fine seeing this one in standard, but it was a fun experience. But uh, anyways, yeah, Secret Life of Pets uh, 2. Have you guys seen it? If you guys seen it, tell me what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.